Hello and welcome to your very first Android tutorial and today basically what we're doing is just setting up Android uh, to use it in the future tutorials which will be coming really shortly. Okay, to first of all set up your Android what you have to do is go to Google and type in Android SDK. So Android SDK. Click on it. Click download the SDK. I have read the uh, agree, uh, agreement after reading the agreement and then you can uh, right click on your computer go to properties and this uh, check what uh, op what system type you have I've got 64 bit so just click 64 and then uh, download the SDK if you've got a 32 bit operating system then you can download it 32 bit so I'm just gonna download this and it should be done shortly so after it is done downloading, in fact, I'm just gonna pause the video till it's done downloading, and then gonna resume because we'll have this awkward moment of silence. Okay, see you in a bit. Okay, and we're back. It's done downloading. Okay, so I'm just gonna press clear and I'm gonna go to my downloads. Okay, right click, extract here if you're using WinRAR. I, if you're not, then it's a zip file, so you can basically use Windows um, extractor. So. We'll just wait for a bit. It's not going to take that long to extract all the files. Okay, now, um, basically, I've uh, downloaded this before and extracted it. So we're just going to delete all these files. And we're going to go here. So I d extracted it. I renamed the f uh, folder to Android SDK. If you double click it, these are the files you should have you need to double click on SDK management and then um, this little do that will pop up what you need to do is install all the APIs that uh, you will be using so um, since I don't know which one I'm going to be using so what I did was I clicked on all of them and installed all of them so I can use them later on in the future but uh, all of them are quite big and uh, it will take a bit of time to download it. I think it was 6.3 gigabytes if you click everything. Anyways, after you've installed the Android uh, API, then you need to install the USB driver option uh, to make sure that uh, you can uh, use the um, play feature in uh, Unity 3D and uh, basically see it on your device okay after you install the USB Google drivers what you need to do is you need to go on your device on your Android device and uh, then if I can select it uh, it's the developer options and make sure USB debugging mode is checked and uh, just uh, make sure you go into the um, the what is it called the security settings and uh, check the unknown sources so basically now you'll be able to put your build game on your Android and run it and you will be able to um, play the unity 3d game and see it on your Android device after uh, doing a few more steps okay now to tell uh, unity 3d where your android SDK and all the API's are you need to go to edit and preferences and external tools then uh, where it says android location click it and then you need to navigate it to your folder and then inside the SDK folder that's the one you need to double click and select folder and that's it it should be good okay now that's uh, it you can probably build the game and then transfer it to your device and then run it to make sure it properly uh, plays when you click play it properly shows up on your device what you need to do is on your device you need to download an app called unity remote okay after you've downloaded the app when you open it all it says is connect the device uh, with the USB cable to your computer and play the game in editor and there's a unity logo next to it okay that's all uh, the app says so you should connect your device 
make sure you restart Unity after you connected your device. Sometimes it can have a big issue that uh, uh, what you connected first and whether you open Unity later or not. So connect your device first and then launch Unity. Okay. Now and play it. If it doesn't show up, then what you need to do is go to Manage on your computer and then uh, go to um, Device Manager and uh, there should be a warning sign here for uh, one of the drivers and it should be called the Android USB drivers or Android ADB something like that what you need to do is right click it okay so for example we'll just select any driver for now um, seeing the case so we'll just select this one this is my printer so right click update uh, software search automatically and it should start searching for the driver okay and if it, it, it says cannot find the driver then for me that happened and I'm using Nexus 4 but I don't know how to fix it on other devices but I will tell you what I did it might work on your device if it's similar so right click update driver software browse my, uh, browse my computer for driver software let me pick and then have a disk browse and then go to your Android SDK and then SDK extra Google USB driver and then click the Android Win USB dot INF and it should work okay now after you've done that you want to restart unity and make sure your device is plugged in properly before you restart unity and uh, basically go into the editor uh, the uh, unity remote on your device and then play the game if it shows up on your device then you've done it properly and now my device is actually working and it I can see it in my device so which is good okay and that's it for now and I will be doing uh, um, a lot more tutorials on Android and uh, touch in general so uh, look forward to that okay. thanks again for watching